Oh, gang. Stumps in the kitchen. Well, today we're trying another meat, less meat. I found this at Walmart. It's 100% plant based. CPG unmeat luncheon meat style. Let's see. It has, it's egg free, it's a source of fiber, no preservatives added. Uh, it's got water, non GMO, soy protein, palm, olean, seasonings like onion, black pepper, natural flavors, potato starch, thickener, modified vegetable gum, wheat, gluten, and fiber, sugar, yeast. Extract, red yeast, rice powder, potassium salt, and paprika oil color. It's from Century Pacific, North America Enterprise Incorporated out of California. It's a, it's a product of the Philippines. So it's basically a luncheon meat without the meat in it. This is what it looks like. Doesn't look that appetizing, let's be honest. But I'm gonna try to have some on saltines, some on crackers, and I made me a sandwich with it. <coughs> I'm trying that. I'm also gonna be using, because I normally drink Mrs. Stump Sweet Tea. Anthony from Life with Anthony says this is the best tea he's found out on the market. So I found a bottle, it's called Front Porch. Sweet tea, got this at the Dollar Tree. We'll be trying that. But first of all, I got some of that on cracker. And let's see if it tastes like luncheon meat or tastes like grass outside. It is pretty dry. Wow. Mm. It don't taste like lunch meat. Not any I've had. What tastes like? I don't know. It's not bad. Now one end of the loaf has a lot of gel on it, but you know. If you're looking for a luncheon type sandwich meat, without the meat, it might be all right. Now I made me a sandwich, I have some mayonnaise, mustard, and a piece of cheese, and I do have some lettuce and some kind of grass from outside probably but Maybe spinach. spinach and stuff so let's see what it tastes like on bread if you make it like a regular sandwich and i like lunch and meat but... Kind of a dry piece of meat, or kind of a dry piece of meatless meat.
However, fix like this, you get more of a taste with your cheese and your mayonnaise and stuff of actually eating regular luncheon meat. Well, regular luncheon meat is better, but this is pretty close if you fix it like this. Mm. Get it? I will be eating it. I'm not going to throw it out. This can. I think it was $3.49. Has 130 calories. Total fat of 12%. So. So on a scale of run 1 to 10 with that. I'd give it. Off a sandwich, I'd give it about a seven. Fix it on sandwich with the mayonnaise and mustard and all that stuff. I'd give it a good strong eight, eight and a half. So. I did a little brown looking things in it. I don't know what that is. Some kind of plant. So now we got this sweet tea from Front Porch. Um, let's see what it said. I tried. What is it? Their lemonade I had. Yeah, I think. And it was pretty good. Got tea, water and tea, concentrate, high fruit toast, fruit to toast, fruit it up, whatever you say it. Fruit toast. Fruit toast, corn syrup, natural flavors, thoracic something acid, and camel color. Or what is that? Fair. Caramel color. No camel. Caramel. No, caramel color. It's distributed by Citrus World Incorporated, a Cooperative based Lake Wells, Florida, USA company. Cheers. We'll try to see how that tastes. It's not bad. I actually like it. Outside of Mrs. Stump's tea, I think that's the next best tasting tea. Is Milo's. You mess right behind Milo's. You can tell it's uh, uh, kind of like a flavored tea because it has that. When you buy lemon flavored, it has a certain taste. This isn't lemon flavored, but it has that taste similar. I don't know why crack is bright and half in the bottom. Well, anyway. Appreciate y'all watching. Go out and give us a try, especially, especially if you want them vegans or vegans. Vegans. Go to Dollar Tree, see if you can find that. Give that a try. That's good. I recommend that. So, until the next video, this is Stump saying, Stump leaving the kitchen. And we will check you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe, share, hit the like button, ring the bell, all that good stuff. Bye-bye. <laughs>